what's up guys it's Mike here for you bringing you a hookah review tonight and as you see to my left I have here one of the brand new version 2 Sika hookahs this particular model is the Zoba black basically just the oxidized Zoba it does come in a silver and gold color scheme as well both of which you can find at 5starhookah.com excellent vendor highly recommend you go and checking them out so before I go ahead and get on into the review guys I want to just go ahead and talk a little bit about all the pieces that's going to be included in your new Sika hookah so with that alright guys as you see I've got everything taken apart here so I'm just going to quickly go over all the different pieces that is going to be included in your new Sika hookah so first of all up to the top left there you see a nice cleaning brush set. It's got your vase brush, stem brush, as well as a bowl brush. Very nice for a hookah to come with a cleaning brush set. Not a lot do, so that's always nice. Moving on, the tongs. Got some very nicely crafted, durable Sika tongs. Very similar to KM hammer tongs. But, as you see, the Sika, a little bit thicker. One difference is, is that the Sika tongs don't actually have the hammer. But, very nice, durable tongs. Moving on to the bowl. As you see, guys, this is a standard Egyptian bowl. This one is unglazed. I have seen other reviews that included glazed bowls. So I believe this is going to be something that's going to vary between hookahs. Kind of a shallow Egyptian bowl, but a very nice Egyptian bowl nonetheless. The tray. Again, very, very durable. Sika very similar to a KM silk butterfly gold trim tray only a little bit thicker in material the hose seek a hose but once more very very similar to a KM rainbow hose now I do want to touch on something I've seen a couple reviews so far and I do understand that by the look of this hose one could easily mistake this for being a non washable hose these however are in fact 100 percent washable couple things about the hose number one the longer hose port end it's a little bit on the long side which I'm not a huge fan of however it is very very light so it doesn't really give you much tipping of the hookah during your session personally I'd like to see a little bit shorter of an end but either way not a big deal one thing that I would like to see with the hose though the tip is not removable. I know there are a lot of folks out there that like to use glass tips. You're not going to be able to do that with this hose. But a hookah that includes a washable hose, very, very nice. Another thing that this hookah is going to include that is very, very nice, a jumbo base. Of course this is Sika. Hopefully you can tell. It says Sika right there. Nice gold band. Very, very bright. And this has got the black striping on the bottom and up the top. As you see some nice etchings going around that center band. Now, last but not least, the stem. This is one of the bigger models 
I want to say it's a 36 incher so the stem is heavy very very durable brass going from the top all the way down you see the wheat leaf from the teardrop or the pearl shape whatever you'd like to call it into the ball and then on down into the heart see Sika there on the tray rest as far as the gauge see if I can get it there pretty nice open gauge the chamber again very similar to a KM it's got this bell diffuser on the bottom the hose port another similarity of a KM or Egyptians the purge port or the purge I should say actually somewhat similar to a Syrian now that brings me to my next point folks Sikas, they are 100% Egyptian, made in Egypt. However, they are made by a team of Egyptian and Syrian craftsmen. Therefore, if you notice, there are similarities between the Sika and some KM models and some other Egyptian models as well as similarities with some Syrian models so in my opinion it's a very nice hookah very very durable and very beautiful so with that said folks I think there's not a whole lot left except to set this thing up and show you how she performs so be right back alright guys I'm back as you see, I've got things going and smoking. I'm using regular tap water in the base, the Sika hose that was included. I'm using the included Egyptian clay bowl with a single layer of heavy duty foil, three cocoa jammers on the top, and I'm smoking some Alfakar pipe flavor. So, I've been smoking for a little while now. Let's see how she does perform. One thing I did forget to mention in the piece of segment though guys is of course this is going to be included with your necessary grommets. It does have your host port grommet as well as the base grommet. I even got a bowl grommet with it as well. So here we go. So as you see, nice big thick clouds, of course it's a hookah, it's going to give you some smoke. I do think that that's also dependent on certain variables such as what you're smoking, how you're packing, how much heat you're using, so forth and so on. But yes, the Zoba does perform well. Now as far as the purge, let me just go ahead and show you a quick clip. So you see there guys, it does take a couple tries, a couple different purges to actually get all the smoke out of the base, but then again it is a jumbo base, there's an awful lot of room in there for smoke. So as far as the purge itself, it is very effortless, it does have an easy purge, just going to take you a couple times with this big jumbo base. Now as far as the restriction, as I mentioned earlier, these Sika hookahs are made by a team of Egyptian and Syrian craftsmen. Therefore, you are going to notice some similarities between the Sika hookahs as well as with some Egyptian and Syrian hookahs. One of which I believe is the actual restriction of the hookah itself. 
it feels like it is not quite as wide open as something like a KM or other Egyptian pipes. However, it is more open than a Syrian hookah. It's not quite as restricted as a Syrian hookah. It's kind of right there in the middle between Syrian and Egyptian. So it makes for a nice smoke session. A lot of times with the wide open hookahs, I, t I tend to feel that you get a lot more smoke from it, but it kind of cuts back on the flavor. With the more restriction you have, the more flavor you get, or at least in my opinion. So with this being right there in the middle, you get your clouds and you get your flavor, and it's just a great session overall. So with that, I think my only thing left are my final thoughts. One thing that I want to make clear is I've decided not to give number ratings for hookahs anymore, as well as certain other hookah products. I'm pretty much just going to leave number ratings to tobaccos. And that's simply because a hookah is not a hookah if it doesn't smoke. This obviously smokes. It does what it's supposed to do. So as far as hookah ratings go, it's pretty much comes down to just what each individual smoker prefers in a hookah. So with that, I think that this is a wonderful hookah. Aesthetically wise, the weld marks are very clean. There's not a whole lot of defects. Of course, with handmade products, there are going to be some blemishes. So don't expect to not have any blemishes. However, with the Sikas, they are very minimal. So aesthetically wise, it is very pleasing. It's a taller rig, so this is definitely an eye catcher. Anybody that comes into the room is going to look at this thing and be wowed by it. I know when I first did, opened it up and brought it out of the package, I was stunned by the beauty as well as the quality of this thing. This stem is heavy. By far the heaviest stem that I have. Up until this point my heaviest stem was my Elma 628 which is no slouch in the weight department. This supersedes that. So very high quality material very aesthetically pleasing it smokes and performs very very well as far as this particular color scheme I really love the color scheme I like the oxidization of it the copper and the black dual tone but with the etchings of the wheat leaves they are actually the gold brass color and that matches very well with the base on the bottom with the gold trim the black bandings and then on the top the gold trim tray so I think it makes for an even nice balance as far as the color scheme goes so that said guys this is a hookah that I am very proud to have in my collection one that is going to stick with me for a very very long time if not taken to my grave this is a hookah that I would recommend to any hookah smoker with that, guys, you can find this at 5starhookah.com. Go and check it out. They have a variety of Sika models. You can't go wrong with any of them. Very top contender in the hookah market. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you can, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, smoke on.